I'm recording from my FaceTime camera. Um, so I'm just recording from there. <sighs> I don't know, I don't like this camera. I don't like this light. This light. Oh, uh, let's see. Oops. Seems to be okay. Oh, my whole face is fat and not that good. <sighs> I don't feel too good making this video. I don't feel too good. Uh, I don't feel too good. Uh, but I'm making it anyway because. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, my face looks a bit fat, doesn't it? Let me try with the other camera. I don't like this camera. I don't know, this camera looks weird. Everything looks weird. Maybe, maybe I look weird. Maybe that's the thing. Not this again. I don't know, that looks stupid. Why is this like that? It's a bit better. I still don't feel fat. I don't feel too good right now. I feel like shit. I feel like shit. I don't know, this thing looks way too yellow. This foundation. And all those uh, pimples and. How many pimples am I here, 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 here? here. I think I've got it. Gotta actually confirm my endocrinologist appointment because I gotta got get a blood test done. I have to get a blood test done a week before. Oh, it actually hurts. These, these things actually hurt. Oh, they hurt. They hurt. I feel fat. Yes, I, uh, my diet has been shh. It's been really bad. And uh, I'm not making progress. I'm not making progress. Uh, sorry for the news thing. It's a bit cold in here. The winter is starting. And the temperatures have gotten a little bit low. How do you get uh, a few iTunes movies? Oh, how do you get some of my books delivered? I'll show that. Um, <clears throat> and iTunes, uh, they were having this sale for epic movies. Uh, $5. So I got The Bridge on the River Kwai. Haven't seen that. I got Moon, which is a new film starring Sam Rockwell. He's a uh, actor 
Uh, Cleopatra, 1963, starring Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, right? I haven't seen that. Gangs of New York, uh, Dr. Chicago, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen all of any of these, The Last of the Mohicans. Uh, Mary, Queen of, Queen of Scots, which is a new film. I haven't seen it. Uh, Legends of the Fall, I have seen Legends of the Fall. I like Legends of the Fall. Uh, also got this movie called The Girl Next Door. To, it's in 2004. It's a funny movie. I've seen that. Uh, but th th yeah, th so this is not the five dollar one. Uh, uh, the ones I just talked about before Girl Next Door were five dollars. Um, oh shit! Right. Anyways, uh, I'm a deist and uh, yeah. I tend to buy these movies, but I don't have time to see them. I mean, I don't make time. I just <laughs> my whole life is very disorganized and very messy, and uh, it's like I'm not going anywhere. I'm stuck. I am stuck. <sighs> Today was such a hectic morning. My mom kept on interrupting me, telling me. Apparently there's this drainage problem on the side and we've been having this problem for such a long time and it's just people just don't, the real estate people, they just don't, haven't fixed it. This house is just, just such a, it's so run down. It's like, I don't know, I can't believe you're paying like, you pay like $440 a week. Uh, I don't know if this house is worth $440 a week. Uh, oh, my prices are going up everywhere. Yeah, my brother, he went to a job interview yesterday and he got offered the job. It was a, I mean, he already has a pretty good job, you know, he earns a, a six-figure salary and they gave him a little bit of increase but he turned it down because he didn't think it was worth uh... <laughs> so here's my brother turning down a job like it's a good salary and look at me <sighs> like I'm like and he's been making you know good money he, he, he look at me man I can't even get a fucking interview going But he's a computer programmer, so you know, he's in one of those jobs where you, uh, you know, he's a software engineer, actually. He, he has an engineering degree and a math degree. So he did the right thing. He went to school, he went to university, he didn't, he, he didn't mess around like me. So I'm happy for him. Um, so at least we... we I was a golden child, and I ended up being a complete fuck up. <laughs> I was a golden child, especially by my mom. My mom treated me like a golden child. My dad didn't like me. Um, Next year, be homeless. <laughs> be homeless. <laughs> yeah, my sister, you know, she she started working when she was fourteen years old, and she's always been quite independent. And uh, you know, she has her own life, so. I'm the one who's kind of fucked up. You know, my, my mom has her own life. My dad has his life. I feel like 
I feel like I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> what am I doing? And all these blues. It's actually so bad. So bad. I think this must be the hormones and also like maybe my pillow. Like this. I need to change the pillow covers or something or or wash my face before I go to sleep. I hate going to that job center. I fucking hate that place. I really hate it. I'm swearing. <gasps> what happened to me? Aren't I being supposed to be polite? <laughs> I better make an electrolysis appointment. Ah, that'll do it. No point. I was seeing some of my older videos, uh, like years ago. <sighs> We're talking about 2011, and oh, I just, oh man, I just looked so bad in those videos. I was like so fat, and my lips were so big. Like I just like my my lips are smaller than they were before. Like now they're they actually look not, not too bad. Sometimes they're dry. But in my older videos, I was like, oh, fuck, my lips were so like swollen or something, and it was so weird. And my, my face had a different shape here. Now my face has got a, like a shape like that. See how it goes like that? Before it was more like a pear shape, whereas this now it's more like a thing like that because of the fat distribution here, and you know what I mean? So there is a slight change in my face. And, yes, I feel like today my face is a bit fat, but. Um, so I was looking at these, oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, I didn't want to upload that video. <laughs> it's like... Uh, uh, yeah, I get some audio books. Uh, what do I get? I got some audio books. Audible. Audible. I've even, I've even sort of, I haven't listened to any of my books for a couple of days. Mm. Uh, my books. What did I get? I got some books. Um. Oh, my ears. This site is so slow, this Audible site. It's kind of annoying. Oh, I got Oliver Sacks's The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat and Other Clinical Tales. That was, that was about neuroscience. There's another book called Blindness by Jose or Jose Saramago. Uh, Another one, Atonement by Ian McEwen. So those uh, two, I was actually Googling um, novels about religion or something. And these two, because I'm interested in um, you know, things like that. Um, and I got Robert Greene's 48 Laws of Power. Uh, and his other book, The Art of Seduction, an indispensable primer on the ultimate form of power. Yeah, so I got those books. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I feel my face is fat. Of course it's fat. I haven't eaten. Uh, what do you expect? I don't even care about this stupid lipstick. <sighs> so those are books I got, which were delivered. I still have some more books which need to be delivered, but these are the ones. I'm gonna try to make sure I don't get makeup on the book. Mm -hmm. Mm 
9.45 a.m. I gotta get the hell out of here uh, if I can. Oh, here is it all. So, the first one is The Abandonment Recovery Workbook by uh, Susan Anderson. And uh, I actually ordered her... Um, I've, I've, I've listened to this book, audiobook. I've also got the print version. And uh, this is like a, a recovery book. Uh, so, you know, just got all the things in it. And I thought it would be interesting. And her other book as well. It's called Taming... Taming your outer child, and the outer child is, be, is um, overcoming self sabotage and healing from abandonment. Uh, so, in that book, the outer child is like a, your bad behaviors that's uh, stopping you from living your life. Uh, you know, outer child is the behavior, inner child is the feeling, and then you got your adult, which is a reasonable rational adult brain and you've got to you know don't you know yeah so you got to change your you got to be careful with your outer child it's, it's a nice way of conceptualizing uh, feelings and behaviors and then how to be an arbiter between those two and try to change your behavior you know. so that was interesting <sighs> anyway, so um, I also ordered this other book. It's called from <coughs> it's called the Molecules of Emotion or something. Uh, so that would be you know how it's written by someone called Her Hurt or something. I don't know. Um, so yeah. <sighs> Some guy left a comment on one of my job videos. He goes, no job yet. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, yeah, I'm going to make all these videos. Interviews. All right, then I will sign it up. I'm just, uh, I'm just very normal shit. You know, just, uh, just a normal thing, you know, everything like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Just turn that thing off. Oh, oh shit, my hair. I forgot my hair. Just turn it off. It was really, really difficult to um, take control of your life. It's really, really, really difficult to do it. It's really hard to change uh, behavioral patterns, ways of thinking, because they can become so ingrained. It's actually quite difficult to change them. Change them. Mm. All right, so. <laughs> That's how I load with this. I like this uh, top. <laughs> it's nice. It is a nice top. Yeah, it's a nice top. Uh, but I'm gonna wear a sweater on top. Uh, look at me. Look at my face. Jesus. Look at all of that. Oh. Oh my god, all that fucking acne. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and look at my eyes. <laughs> and I'm fat. Yeah. Uh, so I finished the uh, thing. So my employment consultant is uh, going to a different job. So we've got another. Employment consultant coming in. I've, this, I've actually she. I met her before. She was my first employment consultant at this place. Oh, I've got a bit of a headache. I don't know what it is. Is it a, is it a coffee or a lack of coffee? I don't know. A lack of sleep. 
got this migraine type headache. I hope it's not brain cancer. Tumor in my brain. I wonder how that'll be if I got something like that. I don't know, I just have to get very philosophical about things like that. It's like, uh, yeah. Well, that's just too bad, isn't it? Something like that. Being unemployed sucks. All these things on my face. So it's 12.15. No, 12.16 p.m. I was having such a freaking long argument with my mom. It's so difficult to talk to her. So then anyway, I was just talking about like how I, I was telling her that I thought she felt ashamed of me. <laughs> Because whenever she, she like, uh, because I I I said that why do when you when you talk to you people in your community or whatever, do you tell tell them like I'm your daughter or I'm trans or whatever? And then she goes, she told her she said she told her close friends, but she doesn't tell other people. And I'm like, I I, I said, because maybe you because you feel you're ashamed of me, and she got so upset by that. Uh, him very took it very personally. <sighs> I spent a, sorry, it's been a lot, such a long time arguing. I just can't talk. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> so oh, here's the book I was talking about. It just got delivered today. The book is uh, come on, you stupid. Here it is called Molecules of Emotion by Candice B. Pert, PhD. So it's Pert, no, I thought it was her or it's Pert. Uh, something on mind and body. You know, like how do feelings come from, uh, you know, things like that. Hmm. I, I, I kind of, I'm finding, I'm finding this neuroscience thing kind of interesting. Because when I was listening to that um, abandonment healing thing, um, she she talked she spoke a lot about the neuro uh, scientific and uh, the biological underpinnings of various uh, states of grieving. Oh shit! Enter HIV. What the fuck is this? Uh, oh, this is it about something about HIV virus. <gasps> Hello. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so <sighs> gotta, gotta encode my video, upload it later. Yeah. 